Before you begin, remove the battery, optical drive, base enclosure, USB board, primary storage drive assembly, wireless module, fan, and speakers. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Remove the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Grasping the system board near the center, carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory boards, heat sink, real-time clock battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings.